What does it mean to be infantilized? What does it mean to infantilize someone? Infantilizing someone means treating them like a child or treating them like a baby. Women get infantilized all day, every single day, everywhere, including in my comments and on my videos and on my posts on Instagram. Um, this whole bullshit, stupid notion that hops have, like, just let women do whatever they want. That's infantilizing to women and they're actually being sexist towards themselves. Can you imagine being a parent to a child or even just taking care of a child and it doesn't even matter the age and letting the child do whatever it wants? doing whatever she wants would you do that is that the right thing to do when you're caring for a child and the answer is no is that the right thing to do to yourself can you just do whatever you want whenever you want that whole just let do women do whatever they want is extremely childish and that's an extremely just stupid thing to say honestly like, just let women do whatever they want. Think about that statement. Think about how dumb that is. Think about how that gets women absolutely nowhere. Think about how that attitude has actually really harmed women over time. Because it has, you know, the, the letting women do whatever they want thing is bad. And it hurts us. And it's, in fact, wrong. Um, it's infantilizing to let women do whatever they want. It's infantilizing to not hold women accountable for their actions. It's infantilizing to think that that's some legitimate way of being. Because it's not. You know, doing whatever you want has consequences. And doing whatever you want often um, harms other people. So let's take makeup and shaving, for example. Um, I recently made a really cool post with a naked mole rat. Naked mole rats are awesome. Um, it's a picture of a naked mole rat wearing a wig. And I said, uh, European women who shave, who are naturally hairy, who shave, look this ridiculous. Because they do. And they look disgusting to me. <laughs> they look like so they look so unnatural. Anything that looks unnatural is gross to me. I'm like, ew, get it away. Um, including shaved women. Including women who wear slave paint, adult face paints. Um, including women who wear ridiculous clothing. Who act like it's Halloween every day. Like, yeah, you're, gonna, you're really going to wear your corset and your fucking Barbie doll dress to work. And you're... You're way too old to be dressing that way, and it's not Halloween. Yeah, the whole let women do whatever they want thing is bullshit, and people are always like, women, women. Men do this too sometimes, but women more often than not are the ones who are fighting for their oppression and saying, I just want to shave. I, that's what makes me feel comfortable. I just want to wear adult face paints. That's what makes me feel comfortable. Okay, here's an example of something that might make someone feel comfortable, but is totally not appropriate. It's a little bit different than, than shaving or wearing adult face paints. Anyway, uh, you know, when I was living in California, five months out of the year, I wore my swimsuit as frequently as I possibly could. Like on weekends, I was in swimsuit. I was in swimsuit like eight days a week, basically. Like, I love wearing my swimsuit. I was constantly going swimming, constantly hanging out with people. You know, I had like a robe or whatever. I had like a swimsuit cover up that I would sometimes wear. But I really felt super comfortable in my swimsuit. So I wore it as frequently as I could. I didn't wear it to the store when I had to go to the store. I didn't wear it to my friends' houses without a cover up, especially if I was going somewhere who's like someone whose house I hadn't been to before. Um, but imagine, like, if I just wore my swimsuit all the time because that's what I felt most comfortable in. 
Like, would I show up to a job interview wearing just my swimsuit? Would I, like, go to, like, you know, my friend's kid's ballet recital wearing a swimsuit? No, no, and no. Like, why the fuck would I do that? That would be stupid. And let's, let's give some slack here to maybe some people who have, um intellectual difficulties, you know, maybe they're going to wear their favorite shirt, the same shirt, literally every day. I'm cool with that. But like, that's a different situation, right? Infantilizing women is wrong. Infantilizing women is stupid. And women need to stop infantilizing themselves and each other. Like these women who are like, oh, but I just feel comfortable shaving. Wow, lady, have you ever tried not shaving? Like, ever in your entire life? No, I didn't think so. If you can't, if you can't, if you don't know yourself, how can you love yourself? You can't. The answer is you cannot. Um, and, you know, this whole notion of just, like, uh, letting women do whatever they want extends to plastic surgery. And plastic surgery is wrong. It's bad. It hurts our Mother Earth. Um, it's, uh, it often becomes an addiction. People who get one procedure get another one, and then they get another one, and then they get another one, and it's just becomes this whole fucking monster, you know? And you can die from getting plastic surgery, even if everything goes according to plan, you can die from an infection. You can fucking get sepsis. Like, it's bad news. Something I was thinking about, about Tim's and Tiff's, is um, the fact that uh, women are not treated properly by society overall, obviously, extends, in fact, to Tim's and Tiff's. So, listen to this. Tim's and Tiff's are both somehow women, right? Tim's are not women, but they're pretending to be women, and they want to be recognized as women, right? And Tiff's are not our women, but they want to be recognized as men, but they're still women. So I feel like the whole trans trender train really fucking took off and gained steam because they're trying to exist within the context of women. And they're saying, oh, oh, I identify as male. Oh, I identify as female. And because women specifically are infantilized, are treated improperly by the law, by society, by everyone. People are like, okay, oh, okay, you're a, you're a woman. Step on me. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, you're a woman. I mean, okay, you're a man. Yardley, 16-year-old Tiff. It's dumb. It's, it's really dumb. And it's wrong, and um, I don't want to be infantilized. That's a big deal in why I'm not okay with women being called girls. You know, let me just talk about that for a moment. So if my friend, who I know and love, says to me, Hey girl, I'm cool with it. That's an affectionate term. It's fine. Um, My, you know, while he was still alive, like my 90-year-old granddad called me a girl when I was, you know, 25 or whatever. Because to him, I am a girl. And, like, that's a different relationship than someone I don't know who's that age calling me a girl. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of okay with it in certain contexts, like, more with my friends, right? They're going to say, hey, girl, or whatever. That's, that's fine. Um, and I'm not okay with being referred to as a girl generally, like, in passing, because I'm not a girl. <laughs> I'm not a, I'm not a prepubescent minor. Um, I know, shocker, right? Um, I'm actually a grown woman, and so I ought to be referred to that way. Mm. And also the fact that, here's another great example of women infantilizing themselves, uh, is that, you know, 50, 60, 40 year old women don't want to be called women because that makes them feel old. But you're a woman. You're... You're legally an adult. In that case, you're a woman. Um, Y'all have probably heard me say the word gal, G-A-L. Gal is actually a lot like guy. You know, you can say guy for 
a male age 18 to, I don't know, 60. Older than that. People say guy about a general male. It's kind of a, people don't always say like man or like gentleman, right? So it's kind of a more informal term. And that's what gal is too. And gal does not, gal is not <laughs> girl. Okay, gal, G-A-L, is a more general, less infantilizing, informal term for a woman. And I'm okay with gal. Um, so all you idiots calling women girls, just say gal, or, I don't know, kill yourself or something. But anyway, um, was that what I was going to say? Oh, here's, let me tell you another good example of infantilization. Um, Susan B. Anthony, Danielle, honey, do you want to go outside? Do you want to go outside? Mama? Do you want to go outside? Mom? Do you want to go outside? Do you want to be in the video? Can I be in the video? Please. Please be in the video. Susan B. Anthony illegally voted in 1872. And that was actually a crime. Okay, and police showed up and she had to demand to be arrested because she had, in fact, broken the law. And they didn't want to arrest her because she was a woman. Because they wanted to go easy on her and just give her a warning. But she demanded to be arrested because she did, in fact, commit a crime. Right. Um. So let's, let's try to not infantilize women. Let's try to act like grown ass women here. Um, let's not refer to women as girls and let's stop, you know, reiterating these stupid liberal law mantras like I can do whatever I want. Women can do whatever they want because, um, no, they can't. They should be held accountable just like men are. And I'm embarrassed for anyone who, like, doesn't understand that. Because it's pretty fucking obvious. Don't infantilize women.